Good morning, my dear friends. Today is March 18. My topic for you this morning is Mind Your Visitors. Mind Your Visitors. Is there any time you have experienced that your visitors become problems for you? Is there any time your visitors always gossip about somebody when they visited your home? Or is there any time your visitors become destroyers of your peace? Or do you feel your visitors are not for a wrong intention? Or do you think your visitors are betraying the confidentiality that you shared with them? In the Bible, King Hezekiah had a few visitors who really destroyed his own children and grandchildren. Let's read from the Bible. 2 Kings chapter 20, verse 14 and 15 say, Then Isaiah the prophet went to King Hezekiah and said to him, What did these men say? And from where did they come to you? In order to respond, Hezekiah said, they came from far country, from Babylon. And this is what Isaiah says. And he said, What they seen in your house? And Hezekiah responded. So Hezekiah answered, They have seen all that is in my house. There is nothing among my treasures that I have not shown them. So when Hezekiah said it, what was the consequence of the wrong visitors? So what is the consequence there? 2 Kings chapter 20 verse 18. Here Isaiah said, And they shall take away some of your sons who will descend from you, whom you will beget, and they shall be eunuchs in the place of the kings of Babylon. Because of the wrong visitors, because King Hezekiah entertained the wrong visitors in his house, his whole family, his children, his grandchildren became slaves to Babylon. My dear friends, visitors are good people. Many times, good visitors are visiting our house, but sometimes, they will involve in your life's personal and private and family affairs. Sometimes they may destroy the integrity of your family. Today, are you really concerned about your visitors? Are you unhappy with the way the visitors talk to you and behave in your family? Do you think your visitors will contaminate you are young children and family members. The very good visitor is Jesus Christ. And here is the promise. Revelation chapter 3 verse 20. Revelation chapter 3 verse 20 says, Behold, I stand at the door and knock. If anyone hears my voice and opens the door, I will come into him and dine with him and he with me. My friends, make sure your only visitor should be Jesus Christ. Who do you trust? Your visitor should be Jesus Christ on a daily basis. Just invite Jesus as your unseen visitor and he will guide you. And he will guide you through and manage your family affairs. Let's pray. Father in heaven, thank you so much, dear Lord, that Jesus Christ is our visitor. And Jesus Christ will manage our lives. And Jesus Christ will never betray our confidentiality. And we thank you, dear Lord, Jesus will never contaminate our family. Rather, Jesus Christ 
will uphold us. Jesus Christ will enrich our family integrity. Thank you, dear Lord, for the visitor. Help us to open the door for him to come in our lives. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Thank you and God bless you.